It is a complete course project. Please learn them in order. This is part three modeling. Okay. So in previous part we did tracking and export camera in Bujo. So now you want to check that it's working uh, Maya or not. Go to file and choose set project. So go to your destination folder and choose Maya and click set. Now go to file and choose open scene and choose your exported cam in Bujo. So I will choose this one and click open. So now you got our camera over here. So go to window and choose outliner. So here we have one group. So it will done by Bujo. So it's come with name of Bujo underscore data. So in inner, so I will expand this group. Here you have one short cam. So it's created by Bujo. So in Maya, we do not want to create any camera because we want to see through this Bujo camera uh, for our final output. So here we have some reference points or tracking data over here. So it exactly lying above our grid in Maya. So I select my Bujo data and press delete. So first of all, we want to model our scene. After that, you we utilize this uh, Bujo data. So we want to check. So why we will import this uh, Bujo data over here. So now I select this Bujo data and press delete in keyboard. So now go to file and choose new scene and give don't save. So I will close my outliner. Now we want to model for our scene. Go to modify in create panel. Sorry, create panel polygon primitives disable the interactive creation. So that means when I click on poly um, cylinder, it will be automatically created on center of grid. So press R, so I will do little bit scale big and scale in Y like this. So I will do scale Y to 8 or 7. So like this. Now go to front view. So I will do little bit smaller. So I will do 6. So press W. You want to move this one on above the grid. So I will move in Y. So don't keep exactly on grid. So I want to cover with this in box. So I will move little bit in up. So little bit space to here. So go to perspective. So now you able to see here we have some space. So now press five in keyboard. I want to do some divisions for this object. Go to poly cylinder and subdivision axis to 30. So and then I will double click on this edge and shift to double click on this edge and shift right click and choose bevel edge. So I will give fraction amount to 0 0.1 or 0 0.0 sorry 0 0.05. So 0 0.05 like this and give segment to 2. I will give fraction to 0 0.02 so I want very tiny bit right click and choose object mode select this object go to modify sorry uh, go to mesh display and choose soften edge so now I want to clear this whole history so go to edit delete by type and choose history and I want to freeze all my values as zero so when your object selected go to modify and choose freeze transformation so that means your all objects should be re freezed so go to window and choose outliner so i want to rename my outliner as so you want to rename each and every object it's really important because it takes up to modeling texturing and then we want to rig so you definitely want to rename this objects 
so please rename what I do so that means you able to follow my instruction clearly so I want to rename this object as bottom so b o t t o m underscore pivot underscore pipe sorry bottom underscore pipe zero one like this so you want to rename exactly what I do so now I go to and take poly pipe and go to top view press 4 in keyboard now I want to increase the radius so I will increase my radius like this so I will give thickness to 0 0.4 or something so I will give 0 0.5 so I will have you some space between this object and this object don't give like this so you do not want to cover this cylinder so I will give some space so I will give 0 0.5 means we got some space so go to perspective and press 5 in keyboard so now you want to scale in R so I will scale in Y sorry so go to front view press 4 in keyboard and press W you want to move in Y so you want to keep exactly to here so you want to keep exactly over here go to perspective press 5 in keyboard so you want to give some space over here for our sliding purpose so like this so now I select this object and click on this isolate button so that means you able to see this object separately so right click and choose double click on this edge shift double click on this edge shift double click on this edge and shift double click on this edge shift right click and choose bevel edge so I will give offset to 0 0.1 so 0 0.05 sorry I will undo this so I will select this one shift right click and choose bevel edge you want to decrease the fraction amount to 0 0.05 or 0 0.03 so I want very tiny bit so before that I will undo this one all the way to in object mode so before I will uh, give bevel so I will give subdivisions to 40 so after that you want to give the bevel so I will double click on this edge shift double click on this edge shift double click on this edge and shift double click on this edge shift right click and choose bevel edge so now I want to decrease the fraction amount to 0 0.02 so you give very tiny bit bevel and segment to 2 right click and choose object mode so I will select this object go to mesh display and choose soften edge so I want to re-isolate this one now I want to rename this object so I will rename this as slider underscore pipe 0 1 so slider underscore pipe 0 1 so I will start with my first letter as caps letter so slider underscore pipe 0 1 so I want to freeze my transformation value and delete my history so when you are slider pivot selected go to edit delete by type history now go to modify and choose freeze transformation so your all transformation value will be 0 so I want to rename this object very perfectly so like this now I want to create another cylinder for here and press W I want to move this in up so I want to scale in Y so I want very thin and scale big and scale little bit in thin so I want to scale little bit big so go to front view I will scale big I scale in Y so go to perspective so you want to little bit ask disk shape 
so go to front view press 4 in keyboard and press W if you want to move exactly top of our slider pivot sorry slider pipe so you want to place exactly like this go to perspective press 5 in keyboard you want to give subdivision to 40 so right click and choose edge double click on this edge shift double click on this edge shift right click and choose bevel edge so i will give fraction amount to 0 0.05 or 0 0.1 sorry 0 0.01 0 0.1 like this you want to give 0 0.1 and segment to 2 right click and choose object mode when your object selected go to go to edit delete by type sorry before that i will select this object go to mesh display and choose soften edge so and select this object go to edit delete by type history i want to freeze all transformation value go to modify and choose freeze transformation and i want to rename this object as disk so i will do disk underscore sorry disk underscore or u slider underscore disk 0 1 so you want to give slider underscore disk 0 1 like this now i want to duplicate this object go to front view press w press ctrl d in keyboard that means you have duplicate object i want to move them in y so don't keep exactly above this object so you want to give some little bit space to this object and this object so because of i want to make some rotation for this object so you want to give some space to this one between this uh, slider disk 1 and slider disk 2 so this one is not an slider so before that i want to freeze this value go to modify and choose freeze transformation so i want to rename this one uh, rotate rotate underscore disk 0 1 so this one is the slider this one is the rotate so like this you want to rename so then we want to create text for us so now i want to create and go to text option box and i want to rename this text what whatever you want so in this case i will give my channel name of prabhu creative works pcw so here you want to choose your text styles so i will choose my red pro light and bold so don't care about the size we will adjust it manually so i will and click ok and then you want to choose bevel and choose straight out and choose create so that means your uh, text will be created in your center of grid so now i want to press or and scale this object big so before that i want to adjust this one so see here it will be mixed this three object go to bevel plus inputs so i want to adjust the width to 0 0.05 so this is enough i think and depth to 0 0.05 like that and press w and go to front view and move in up press 5 in key sorry 4 in keyboard now you able to see it in wireframe mode so i will go like this you want to place in center exactly in center go to perspective and press 5 in keyboard see here our p c and w will be mixed so i will give uh, width to 0 0.01 or 0 0.02 so it's enough i think i will give 0 0.01 so now it will be perfect so now I want to scale little bit up 
press or and scale little bit big so go to front view press 4 in keyboard you press w you want to move like this and press w you want to move in y so like this go to perspective and press 5 in keyboard so now you able to see this one so i want to scale little bit in this axis so go to bevel plus so you want to decrease the extrude depth to 0 0.15 0.15 so like this I want to go to side view press 4 in keyboard so you want to keep them in center press 4 and you want to keep them in center go to perspective and press 5 in keyboard so like this you want to do so now I want to rename this object and freeze all transformation value and delete the history so when you are poly surface selected go to edit delete by type and choose history go to modify and choose freeze transformation so that means our all freeze all transformation value should be freezed so now i rename this object of uh, this also rotate so rotate sorry r o t a t e underscore text 0 1 like this so now i select this both object rotate disk 1 and rotate text to 1 using control in outliner and press control g to group so now see here our pivot is in center of our uh, center of our grid so you want to go to mo modify and choose center pivot so it will be in center of our object when you press E and you able to rotate like this so I will undo that one so in inside you have two objects so in that group so I will minimize this group and rename this group of so rotate so group G or P rotate group or o t a t e underscore g or p 0 1 so like this now i want to select my slider pipe so don't select the bottom one select the slider pipe 0 1 select the slider disk 0 1 and select the rotate group so all these three things and press ctrl g in keyboard so and create another group and rename this group of so slider underscore g or p 0 1 so now you have this slider so that means when you press w you will able to slide like this so we want to rig this one in rigging part so like this so i will give transform translate y to 0 so it will come with normal position so in inside we have rotate group so that means after you so I will select my slider group and move in up so after that when I select my rotate group you able to rotate also so this is what we expect so I will undo this one and undo until I got in normal position so if you have confused please rewind this video and see it again it's really important so the grouping is really important when you start rigging uh, you want to control by this group so please group what I did so here I will give clear instruction for see here here we have rotate group inside our slider group in slider group it will be controlled our rotate group also so it's really important so I will minimize my slider group over here so here we have in single that bottom pipe so like this okay now we want to make a box for our uh, we want to make box to cover this uh, entire thing so create 
poly cube over here and press R and scale big go to front view and press 4 in keyboard and press W and move in Y so you want to place exactly in grid like this so I want subdivision width and height to 1 sorry uh, sorry subdivision width and depth to 1 like this so you want to give subdivision width to 2 subdivision depth to 2 so go to perspective like this press 5 so you want to cover the entire thing so right click and choose vertex so I will select this vertex go to front view press 4 I want to cover like this I want to cover the total uh, objects like this go to I will select this one and press R and scale little bit in X go to perspective so I want to scale little bit in Z so I want to cover like this press 5 in keyboard like this now go to object mode like this so now I select this face and shift select this face so you want to clearly want to see so I want to select this two top face over here so I will press 4 so you able to see our object is in inside press 5 in keyboard so you select with these two face and go to mesh and edit mesh and choose extract so that means it will have another one group so I will expand this one I will select this both object using control press shift to P to unparent and go to edit when the two objects selected go to edit delete by type and choose history so our history will gone so now our top object will be separated over here so you want to do same thing on this side so right click select this face and shift select this face and go to edit mesh and choose extract so it will create another group so expand this group and select control select this two object and press shift to p to unparent this group and go when you are two objects selected go to edit delete by type and choose history so now you have three object over here so that left door sorry right door and our box and right door over here so i will select this both door object over here go to modify and choose center pivot and press w and move in up like this so we want to make some thickness for this objects so before that i want to select this object and go to and go to mesh or shift right click and choose extrude so you want to extrude in inside so see here it will be shown some black side so I will undo that one so you want to go to share lighting and disable the two side lighting so that means you if you have some reverse lighting option re reverse lighting it will be shown so I will extrude this one I want to extrude in inside go to front view and press 4 in keyboard so you want to extrude until it reach our uh, that bottom slider part so you want to extrude inside like this okay now press 5 in keyboard so now go to object mode so right click and choose vertex so I will select all this four vertex over in center using shift like this now press R and scale like this and scale like this so now go to object mode like this now see here our lighting will be reverse so when your object selected go to mesh display and choose reverse so now we want to make extrude of this object so I select 
this one and shift select this one shift right click and choose extrude you want to extrude in this direction like this so right click and choose object mode so in both objects selected using shift and go to mesh display and choose reverse so now I want to bevel this object so I double click on all my objects so I isolate this one so select this object and isolate so you want to select all the corner edge for this object so don't select the center one you want to select all the corner edges so like this so accept the center loop so now you want to shift right click and choose bevel edge so I will give fraction amount to 0 0.1 or 0 0.2 so and segment to 2 right click and choose object mode select this object go to mesh tools and choose sorry mesh display and choose soften edge so now I re isolate this one and you want to do this object also so I will select this object and isolate select right click and choose all the corner edge using shift so like this you want to select all the corner edge except the center loop so you want to check it will be perfectly selected or not okay so shift right click and choose bevel edge and give same thing as we did earlier so 0 0.2 and segment to 2 right click and choose object mode and re isolate this one so now I select this object go to mesh display and choose soften edge like this so now you got two doors over here so now I select this both things and give translate to 0 sorry go to front view press 4 in keyboard and press w you want to move this both object exactly like this you want to keep exactly like this go to perspective so and press 5 in keyboard so now i select my box object and i select select so now you want to see here in inside you have some troubles so i will select this vertex and go to front view press 4 in keyboard see here we have some problems in here so i want to move like this so i will select this one and move like this so i will select this one and move like this i will select this one and move in center so now go to perspective and press 5 in keyboard so you want to select all the corner edge so for beveling purpose so I will select using shift so you want to select all the corner edge so don't select the center loop you want to only select the corner edge over here So you want to select all the corner edge like this and then shift right click and choose bevel edge so you will bevel up to 0 point same thing as we did for our uh, doors so you want to give fraction to 0 0.2 so or 0 0.2 and give segment to 2 so right click and choose object mode when your object selected go to mesh display and choose soften edge so now you re isolate this one so now you got like this as box so press 4 in keyboard see here this is our front side so I want to rename my object so I will select this object press 5 in keyboard so I want to rename this as box so base underscore box 0 1 and press enter I want to 
clear all this history so when your base box collector go to edit delete by type and choose history and go to modify and choose freeze transformation so that means your all transformation value has been zero so now I want to rename this one so I have in your cube selector and go to go to this one so I select this surface and rename this as a left underscore door zero one and press enter so I will select this one and rename this as right or IG history underscore door zero one so this one is the left door sorry this one is the left door this one is the base box and this one is the right door so now I want to select my right door I want to delete history and freeze transformation go to edit delete by type history and go to modify and choose freeze transformation so now I want to set up here our uh, rotate fiber so create one poly cylinder so it will automatically create a center of grid so I want to move this one in up and press R and scale little bit smaller and scale little bit in Y and press E and rotate in Y90 minus 90 and press W and move in this direction and move in Y so go to front view press 4 in keyboard to see where frame move so I want to move so you want to keep this pivot so between these two objects over here between the box and door so go to perspective and press 5 in keyboard so I want to go to top view press 4 in keyboard so I want to move this object in this side and go to perspective you want to bevel this edges go to 5 in 5 mode select the edge shift double click on the edge shift right click and choose bevel edge I will give fraction amount to 0 0.1 and segment to 2 right click and choose object mode when you are object selected go to modify and choose freeze transformation go to mesh display and choose soften edge now I want to delete the history when your object selected go to edit delete by type and choose history now I want to rename this object of uh, door door underscore fiber zero one so I also rename this as a left door fiber left underscore pivot zero one so now go to top view press four in keyboard now I want to duplicate this one select move to press W and press Ctrl D and you want to move this one on this side so I will move this one little bit in this side select this one and move this one in this side so like this so when you go and perspective and check it out so press 5 in keyboard see you want to make like this so now I want to make on that side also so go to top view so select this one shift select this one and press ctrl D and move this one on this side press 5 4 in keyboard and check it out it will be contacting or not so it will be contact perfectly so now I want to rename this object as right door so this one is the right door or right underscore door so pivot 0 1 so this one is the right or I G H T sorry or I G H T door pivot zero two 
like this press 5 in keyboard so now you have this one so now we want to make group for our left doors and right doors so now I select this left door 0 1 so see here I want to freeze this transformation go to modify freeze transformation go to edit delete by type and choose history so you want to say did same thing for this two objects so when you are uh, left door 5 at 0 1 selected go to edit delete by type history and go to modify and choose center pivot do same thing for this object edit delete by type history modify and choose freeze transformation so here also you want to modify freeze transformation so you want to do same thing on this object so modify freeze transformation select this one and go to modify and choose freeze transformation okay so now I want to group these three objects so I will select my left door and left door pivot 1 and left door pivot 2 all three objects in outliner and press ctrl G to group see here our group pivot is available on center of grid so I want to change the pivot to here to this uh, center of the cylinder so hold D key in keyboard so hold the D key in keyboard and click on this vertex so that means our pivot will be changed for this group over here so that means when I press E you able to rotate this door along what we have see here so it's very cool so you want to change the pivot to the cylinder center using D key see here I will show it again when you press D in keyboard you will able to make uh, your pivot on any vertex or any edge so I want to zoom in so when your group selected hold D key in keyboard so I want to change this pivot exactly to our center of our object hold D key and select the center vertex so that means our pivot our group pivot will change to this area so when you press E and rotate in X so see here it's very cool to see so it will looks like our door open so I will press 0 for this trans rotate 0 so like this now I want to uh, rename this group as left underscore door 0 1 so it's really important so you want to do same thing on right door so I will select my right door and control select right door pivot 0 1 and control select right door pivot 0 2 and press control G to group so that means our group object is available in center of our grid so I want to change the pivot to this center hold the D key in keyboard and click on this vertex so that means our pivot will be come with this area so when you rotate see here it will be perfectly rotated so this is very cool so I will press 0 to here so I want to rename this so I also rename this object as left to door underscore G or P 0 1 so this one is the right door or IGHT underscore door 0 1 sorry door underscore GRP group 0 1 like this so now we have clean scene over here so this one is the 0 so clean scene over here so it's very cool so see here I will select my door group 0 1 I will rotate in Z I will select door group 0 2 I will rotate in Z and see here I will rotate in Z when your door open so you will select the slider group 
and press W I will move in Y and go inside and I will select my rotate group 01 and you also able to rotate so like this so it's very cool thing uh, so we will want to rig our object so now I want to uh, reset my all value so I will select my rotate group 01 so I will give 0 so that means it will be go normal so when I select my slider group 01 I will give translate y to 0 so that means it will go normal so when you are left group selected left door group selected I will give all values to 0 so it will go normal so when you are right group selected so I will select my all values and give 0 so it's very cool so we complete more our modeling next we want to texture uh, our model in next part that's the end of our modeling part click the button to learn part 4 texturing